Well, hello there, Mark Risen Hopkins here, aka Dr. Bitcoin, and I've been asked to do a quick tutorial to how to set up the Ethereum Mist Wallet. Uh, there's been a bunch of interesting news this week with Ethereum. Coinbase and GDAX just added Ethereum to uh, the types of currency that you can uh, have in your, in your Coinbase account. So uh, if you want the easy way to manage Ethereum, that's one way to do it. Or you can install the developer created Ethereum wallet on your PC and be able to access uh, new Ethereum currencies like the DAO and uh, as of today, YoCoin, a local Dallas based cryptocurrency that is shifting over to the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, we're going to start out with uh, a Windows machine here. You're looking at the desktop. I'm going to go pull up Google. And the easiest way to get to the official download repository is just to Google Ethereum Mist Wallet. You'll get a bunch of results here, but the one you're looking for is the one that I have my mouse over right here. It says GitHub. Ethereum missed release. Just go ahead and click on that. The link will be in this blog post or in the blog post associated with this video. So uh, if you are looking for the exact URL to verify, make sure you've got the right one. This is the one here. Uh, you'll want to scroll down to a se the section labeled downloads. You're going to want to select your operating system. I am on a Windows 64 uh, platform here, so I'm going to select that one. It's a uh, fairly quick download if you've got a, high, a good broadband connection. So we'll uh, have that here in just a second. Uh, if you are downloading onto uh, Linux or uh, Mac OS, uh, then you'll probably run into some slightly different variations on this. So uh, we'll probably have uh, some suggestions in the comments of this post that will uh, tell you how to get around those issues. Looks like we got about 15 seconds here. You want to stay, you know, you're going to see a bunch of different stuff here. There's Ethereum wallet and then there's Mist. You're going to want to, going to, want to go with the one that says Mist. So just click on that, show in folder. If you're in Firefox, just go to your downloads folder and it'll pop the same thing up. So we're going to install this into the My Documents folder. That's just how I do things. You may do it differently. So just install these. Uh, you, un you want to unzip these files into a directory where you normally put your program files. It may take just a little bit of time if you're using your standard uh, like built-in op Windows uh, unpack method. It's a lot of files. Uh, if you're using uh, custom uh, zip unzip utility, it should go a little bit faster. Okay, we're gonna close out the browser. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna go into this directory where I just unzipped everything. And you're gonna look for this file. It says missed. That's the program file. Now I'm gonna right click, drag that over to the desktop to create a shortcut. That's going to make it a little bit easier to find it next time I want to open it up. Just double click on that shortcut. First time you ask, or first time it's going to ask you to for permissions to make sure this is all good. It is indeed all good. So you can go ahead and click run. You're going to want to allow it. And then here is this is the first this is the first of a series of confusing prompts. You're going to want to go ahead and click on yes on this one. Don't ask why. It's a long story. Uh, then you'll see as this little spinner goes around, it's looking up nodes for you to connect to. It's going to ask you if you want to go on the test network or the main network. You're going to want to go on the main network, assuming that this is. Uh, you're not a developer, you're not going to try to be developing your own applications in a test environment. If this is your first time installing Ethereum wallet, this is irrelevant to you. Go ahead and click on skip. So we're going to create a password here. Uh, you're going to want to create something uh, hard to guess, but easy to remember. It takes a second to create that. And 
So you're gonna see this screen. It's gonna ask you to uh, load it up with uh, some ether by sending some Bitcoin to an address. Now, if you're using ether uh, for just about, any, if you're gonna do anything with Ethereum, uh, including download and use another cryptocurrency like YoCoin on Ether, you're going to need just a little bit of Ether to pay for your transaction fees or to pay, or if you're writing software, you're going to need a little bit of Ether to pay for the, uh, the gas that it takes to run your, your, your smart contracts. So you don't have to do it right now, but uh, it makes it easy. This is going to take a while. You can see down here it's downloading blocks 180 out of 1.9 million. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you the whole time this happens because this is going to take uh, probably the better part of an hour, if not longer. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and click next. And then it's going to prompt you to go through a whole bunch of tutorials. You're going to have plenty of time to do this. So uh, either take advantage of it or uh, go make a sandwich. And uh, eventually, It'll start to speed up just a little bit. Eventually, you're going to download all these blocks. Your wallet will be in sync. And then you'll want to uh, go have fun with some Ether. So there'll be some further information in the blog post. If For those of you that are looking to add YoCoin to your wallet on the couple of buttons you need to click, post install to make that happen. Otherwise, uh, have fun with your new Ethereum wallet.